Do you ever wake up and think to yourself, Man, I really love the smell of gasoline. Let's put it on my island. No? Just me? Okay. Today, we're building a kid court gas station. Okay, thank you, Cousteau. Thank you for that. Thanks, man. I have very fond memories of gas stations. They're the only places that have that precious slurp slurp juice for my car, so I'm very grateful for them. But before we get into the video, hit that like button if you like the smell of gasoline. And if you don't, then I guess you just have to subscribe to the channel. Sorry, I don't make the rules. And I also have some wonderful merch if you would like to take a look at my Teespring store. If you're a frog enthusiast, cat enthusiast, um, YouTuber, merch enthusiast, whatever, just take a look. So basically we're going to be utilizing this very small kind of awkward section of beach right here. I think it's going to be the perfect size and I'm going to very quickly clean it up with the power of editing. Boom. Done. Magic. First, I was just taking a look at my items, seeing what colors I have, how I want to kind of arrange them, but that didn't last very long because then I dove hand first into slapping down some of these city tile custom designs to cover up the sand. Because although we are putting this on the beach, I don't really think it's safe to have a gas station on the sand. I feel like that has to be some sort of code violation, but I don't know, I'm not a gas station expert. I pretty much covered up all the sand that I could with the tiles and that made me feel so much better. Now it feels like the gas station pumps and the cars are going to have a solid foundation under them, which is something that both me and beauty gurus can really appreciate, you know? I add these yellow sidewalk bump thingies to any place on my island where there's an opening, a pathway, anything like that and it really just signals that you can and should step on it, which is what I feel like God was trying to do when he created bugs since that's the feeling that I get every single time I see a bug. And of course, I like to keep things funky fresh, so I went back in with some of these variations on the city tile to make things just more visually interesting. And now I'm deciding on the placement of the gas pumps. I decided to go with three because all good things come in threes. Three times of day. Three primary colors. Uh, three reels on a tricycle. What feels like only three updates for New Horizons. Next was adding the cars. Of course, I had to use these adorable race car beds, and I really truly hope that one day I can catch my villagers sleeping on them. I think it's just going to be so freaking adorable. But after I was done figuring those out, I wanted to add some vertical height with these tool shelves. I know this is more of like mechanic vibes versus a gas station, but honestly, I've never even opened the hood of a car in my life. And this is all for aesthetics and nothing is real anyway, so I'm putting down tool shelves. I had mismatching colors of them, which I think I can get away with when it comes to kid core, so that's what I went ahead and did. I added a sink because we did not, in fact, cover all of the sand, so there's going to be some sand that still gets tracked around and you want to be able to wash those feet, you know? It might be just me, but I absolutely hate the feeling of sand in between my toes, so you gotta have a water source, a little sink, just get in there, wash those toes. I put down a bench for some seating and then a bucket for anyone who wants to wash their cars. And I also felt like the entrance was looking a little too symmetrical, so I simply turned one of the tool shelves to spice it up. Then I added a little oil barrel, because cars use oil, right? And did the same on the opposite end after rearranging the little seating area just a tiny bit. Next, going in with some smaller decorations, I added a little floor sign just so you can keep an eye out, don't trip over anything. And this plastic canister that absolutely did not want to go in the spot that I was trying to put it in, being such a nuisance, but eventually we got it. Also this little green cone and another oil barrel right next to it. And then going to put some decorations on top of the tool shelves, I added another little canister in a different color. And I tried to put this vacuum on top of this other blue shelf, but it actually went to the side, which worked out great and I loved that placement, so I left that there. And instead on top, I added a metal can. At this point, I felt like I was really kind of struggling to think of more things to add to this. Everything felt pretty complete and I didn't want to add too much extra stuff so we could still walk around, but I did decide to go ahead and swap out the public bench that I had. I went with green because I felt like the green was kind of unbalanced. We had a little green oil barrel, a green car, but nothing really big and green over on the left side of it. So I went with green for that reason. So that's pretty much all the decoration for the gas station area. Next, I wanted to take advantage of these couple of extra tiles that we kind of have up here by my little bridge and everything. And I added a little drink machine. After putting down some custom designs, I just scooted it right on top. 
and then added some other little decorations like a cone and some scattered little papers on the floor. And then since this was kind of a completed area, I did want to finish off this little path. Not really path, but like this assortment of tiles that I have going on up here. So I went ahead and just kind of completed that, brought it all the way down to the end of the bridge and just filled it all in so it didn't look so unfinished. I use a bunch of tiles kind of all mixed together here for my island and it's not for everyone. It's a vibe that I really dig. I kind of try to make it as cluttered and chaotic as my actual life. I just have stuff everywhere and I make it hard for myself to walk around so I have to reflect this in my Animal Crossing island, okay? I know, Pepper. I know. And lastly, just to kind of like spice up the floor a little bit more, I wanted to add these green leaf piles just for some... I would say texture, but we can't touch this so... I don't know, eye texture? And then lastly, lastly, I have this very tiny section to the left here that I had absolutely no idea what to put. No clue. I was kind of just tempted to leave it naked like this, but I didn't want to do that to myself. I, I know that I would not be able to just leave it. So I put down some tiles. I added a vending machine, I added a chair, a water dispenser, and a confetti machine to make everything more exciting and to congratulate myself on another build well done. So that is it my dudes, we have the finished build. So let me walk you through it. To the left we have a little seating area, I guess while you wait if people are gonna like do something to your car. You get showered with confetti, that's just how it is, I guess. And then as you walk into the gas station, you step through some leaves. There's a little bit of sand mixed in there, be careful. And we have a bunch of cars getting refueled, washed, whatever. And if you want to take a little nap, I won't stop you. And yeah, that's about it. I really like how this came out. Very cute, pretty simple build. I really love it though. It really just adds to the kind of like city-ish area that I have going on. And I love all the bright colors and fun stuff going on, and I hope you do too. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Animal Crossing content and more of my villagers uh, interrupting my videos. Don't forget to also check my merch down in the description below, my Discord server, all the links you could ever need will be down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.